Hello, my name is Mr. Willis and I'm the LP for ICT and Head of DCF at Crossy School. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what's going on then in Key Stage 4 ICT this year. So currently with the year 10 to beginning, the new digital technology course, which is brand new this year, and the year 11 is continuing with the traditional WJC ICT uh, course, which finishes at the end of this year. Okay, so in year 10, the new di digital technology course, like I said, uh, consists of three units and it's a linear course which means it's assessed at the end of the second year okay but within that course we've got two NEAs or two pieces of course with with 60 percent of the total course and then the final 40 percent is made up then from the uh, on-screen test which is like their exam if you like at the end of at the end of the course okay so currently this year we've just started now we've done an, an introductory or in the process of doing an introductory project to develop creativity and show the students the kind of things that they're going to need to do for the course this year and then within that then we're going to start then to look at the practice NEA in order to develop the skills which they're going to need to use we've got lots of new software this year for them to use we've got the access to the adobe creative cloud suite which includes photoshop illustrator animate and dreamweaver all those programs they're going to need need to use uh, in the first NEA along with game maker studio 2 which will give them the option then to, to make a game, okay? So year 10, we're gonna concentrate on teaching them the skills they need. We're gonna do a, a practice NEA or practice piece of coursework. And then by the end of the year, then we're aiming to complete the first NEA, which then will give them up to 40% of their GCSE. If I just move the camera a second. In here, you can see then on the left-hand side, there's an example or the example NEA that we're gonna do, the practice NEA, which just gives you an idea about what it's actually going to look like okay so it says there it's split into two sections one part is going to spreadsheet work where they're going to be looking at some spreadsheet data and they've got to work out trends and things like that in order then to create a website then to uh, to fit the needs which they've identified then in the trends of the spreadsheet the website's got to contain either an animation or a game and like i said as part of the practice we're going to try to do both so then when it comes to them into the real one they've got the option then to choose in whether they want to do an animation or a game, okay? The, the second year, that we're gonna do a smaller piece of coursework, a smaller NEA, and then obviously we're gonna prepare then for the for the exam then in, in the summer. So the smaller NEA is worth 20% of the GCSE. We're gonna use Photoshop, Photoshop again, Illustrator, Animate possibly, and then Spark, because they're gonna have to make a video. And again, if you look on the left-hand side here, it gives it shows you the practice scenario that we'll work through so we'll do the same process as in year 10 where we'll do the practice one first of all develop the skills so they know what they've got to do and then we'll do then they can do the real one then and then again that's worth up to 20 percent of the gcse that'll cover the 60 percent sort of coursework element if you like of the course and then that will leave then the 40 percent then for the exam so we're hoping from uh, probably christmas time up until may We'll concentrate on the theory then and then we'll start then then they'll do their, their test then in the summer okay so again the the actual NEA itself i've shown you on the previous slide but it will um concentrate if you like on focus on marketing digital assets okay and in that case it was making a video then for an online digital or social media campaign okay so just briefly on the uh on your 11 if if your uh, if your child is in in year 11 in year 10 they've already completed one uh, one nea with 30 percent of their gcse traditionally they would have been an exam last summer but due to due to the sort of uh, lockdowns etc then that has been scrapped for this year so it's just going to be two pieces of course we've got two neas which is going to be worth 60 percent and one exam at the moment is the plan which is worth 40 percent okay if you've got any questions about anything to do with ICT, please feel free to, have me, to uh, email me at my hub email as shown below. Thank you very much.